Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 2nd. Today we are going to download the coding nighter, the fresh coding nighter setup from the official website of coding nighter and we are going uh, to configure the coding nighter setup with your database or with my database. So uh, go to your Google first of all, type coding nighter. So you can see you have a result, first result. This is the codingniter.com. So this is the official website of Coding Nighter. You can download the Coding Nighter setup from the official website. Okay. So while I'm recording this lecture, 3.1.8 is the current version of Coding Nighter. So they are saying the why you choose, why you choose the Coding Nighter, uh, why Coding Nighter framework with small footprint, of course. Okay, strong security, simple solutions, clear documentation, nearly zero configuration. What that mean? I'm going to explain you know, what is the meaning of mean nearly zero configuration. Okay, so first of all, uh, hit the download button. So make sure there are two flavors. Uh, with one is coding letter 3.x. Make sure we are working or we are going to work on coding letter 3.x. Make sure this is this is the coding letter 2.x so this is the legacy version of the coding letter they are also saying 2.2.6 is the legacy version of the framework make sure they are working on the coding nighter 4 this is the coding nighter is the upcoming version of the framework the coding nighter 4 it's a development is under with phase 1 completed in june 2007 it is not ready for production use they are still working on it make sure the php 5 is required in this course and uh, with php 7 they are working on coding nighter 4 so hit the download button okay so now we have successfully downloaded the 3.1.8 coding nighter version so open this Make sure I have installed my XAMPP inside my C drive. So go to, uh, I'm, I'm going to open my C drive and make sure uh, I have installed XAMPP inside my local environment. So that's why I have to keep my setup inside the SE docs folder. And uh, if you are working on VAM, you can find the www directory inside your uh, local environment. So I'm going to create a new file which is okay uh, so i am ignoring this paste this setup 3.1.8 and just extract here so i am extracting you can see 3.1.8 so rename this folder make sure i am saying coding nighter okay or i am saying ci fast Make sure CI fast. So this is a folder name. So open your uh, PHP Storm. So I have PHP PHP Storm file open and find your. So you can see I am at the. C drive, so here is XAMPP, here is htdocs, we have just created the CI fast. Okay, so now I am saying open this in now. Okay, so uh, we have two folders at the three folders at the root of our setup. You can see application, system, user guide. Make sure we have three folders at the root. So you can see this is the root application system user guide you can click the user guide so you can easily find the documentation related with coding nighter and you can also uh, read the documentation from the official websites by hit this button documentation and make sure we are going to cover 3.x so that's why you have click on the user line guide online so you can see you have same page so user guide so you can read the documentation system guide so uh, make sure you have to concern with application folder so ignore you can you can also delete this user guide okay so ignore this system folder first of all 
so inside your application you have a couple of folders controller config cache core helper hooks language libraries logs models third party views so uh, you can create your controllers and you can keep your controllers inside the controller directory make sure whenever you want to create a new view you can keep that view inside this views directory and whenever you want to create the model you have to keep that model inside this models directory okay so uh, if you are not familiar with mvc model view controller approach don't worry i am going to give you the overview of what is model what is controller and what is view in the next lecture but for now we are uh, so here is a folder you can set your configuration using config folder so you have auto load file config constants database okay first of all click on the database so you can see they are saying you have to provide the username and password the db driver is they are using the db driver mysqli so i have to give the username password and also the database make sure uh, before giving the database you have to create a database first of all go to your local host make sure type php my admin you can also create the database using data grid tool but i am going to create the database using php my admin okay so i am saying ci fast so so ci fast is the is the database name hit the enter button copy this and make sure uh, you have to provide the database name first of all and make sure we are connected uh, with local host so that's why i'm saying root and password is null so close this file go to your routes.php uh, it's totally depend upon you uh, either your pron pronunciation is uh, routes or root okay so this is the routes and uh, you can see the by default controller is welcome controller so as you know we have the local host and the folder name is ci fast hit the button you can see uh, you have the by default controller which is executing this file so this is welcome okay so open your controller welcome controller you can see a view is here which is uh, welcome you uh, you can compare this and also i'm saying working and refresh the file okay so it's working fine so now uh, why they are saying the z zero configuration so that's why you can download your coding nighter just set your uh, folder name that's why they are saying the zero configurations okay so you have uh, created okay now go to your routes so by default controller that means if someone want to access your websites or the root directory which controller you want to execute first so first suppose this is your uh, w i'm saying www.shexy.com so you can see this is the root or in simple words this is the domain name and it's loading a by default controller so uh, here is the same thing i am accessing the root directory and it's allowing the welcome controller because the by default controller is the welcome so i'm saying home is the by default controller so go, go to your root and refresh the page you can see it's saying the page is not found wow why because you are saying whenever someone want to access uh, your main domain load the home controller so make sure controller always exist in the controllers folders as you can see you don't have a home controllers so how can you create your controllers right click first of all php file then i'm saying make sure first letter is capital home 
hit the enter button you can see we have just created the home.php or home file inside our controllers so now i'm saying class I, i'm saying class class and now i'm saying home and i'm saying extends to ci i'm saying controller and okay so now which method you want to execute first i'm saying index so i'm saying working home controller so don't worry if you are not understanding what's going on in, in the next lecture i'm going to explain the mvc architecture or mvc design pattern in simple words and uh, i'm going to explain how can you create your controllers how can you call your views how can you load your views so what are the libraries and what are the helpers so don't worry i'm going to teach you each and everything so now refresh your page it's saying working because you are saying when someone want to access your root directory you are loading the home controller so that's why uh, the home controller is now working fine so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to explain further main concepts related with coding nidr which is necessary for the framework uh, for the any framework for suppose uh, mvc design pattern laravel also uh, provide the mvc or, um, design pattern or architecture or uh, in simple words every framework support mvc uh, or in simple word every framework use the mvc design pattern so uh, don't worry i'm going to explain each and everything for now i'm shahzad ahmed from shahzi.com if you have any problem or any confusion feel free to uh, ask me you can uh, leave a comment below the video or you can send the direct message at the udemy or you can send me the direct email so thank you for watching